We are on the way to Salt Lake City this morning to the Western Hunting and Conservation Expo. It is uh, gonna be an awesome show. We got Joe and Jace with me and they're both feeding their faces while I'm driving and videoing, that's bad news. Anyways, we're just getting on the road, so I'll put this down and drive us up there safely, and we'll get back with you in just a minute. Well, we have made it. We have made it to Salt Lake City to the Expo. Yeah, that's a big truck. Check that thing out. That thing's big. No, I don't want that big a truck. Anyway, we're gonna go in, we're gonna go validate for some tags, and then we're gonna go have some fun at the expo. What do you think? Should be a good day. Should be a good day. Get out of the wind and the cold. So, here we go, come join us. What do you think of that moose? Big moose. Huh? It's a big moose. Super big moose, isn't it? 4 are those things? Check these out. Tickets! Tickets to the show! And we are gonna go in and have some fun. Oh, that was cool. Oh, the heck of a shot. Anyways, we're on our way into the show. Oh, man. What do you think? Could we packed out one of those? No? Yeah, they're kind of big, huh? Back to backers. It's so light. Why is it so light? <laughs> All right, we're here in the Matthews booth, and we're going to get taught about Matthews. Well, our flagship bow for this year is the Vertix. It's a 33-inch axle to axle bow, very parallel limb design, very low recoil and post-shot vibration. It's, very nice. it's a really sweet little bow. It's pretty nice. The adjustability on it is quite amazing because for every drawing, there's two different let-offs and four different weights. And so wow. this bow can be a peak weight of 60, 65, 70, or 75 pounds at your drawing. And nice. it's adjustable down from there. Plus, it can be 70 or 80 percent let off. So you can have many variations, eight different combinations at your specific drawing. 
And so this bow, you can set it up, have it for a recreational or league shooting bow, or you can set it, if you're going on a moose hunt, yep. you've got a 75 pound bow with a lot of kinetic energy. Don't talk to me about moose hunting with my bow. <laughs> So I, had a, I had a really, really <laughs> bad miss this year. You can put one in my draw length and weight and let's shoot. Let's do it. Yeah, I want to fill this thing. That draw doesn't look bad. No, it's that not bad. Balance, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That is dead in the hands. That is awesome. Okay, so besides what? besides this flagship one what other ones do you have what do you what do you got we have a little bit longer axle to axle bow it's called a traverse it's 33 inches axle to axle uh -huh. this doesn't have the switch weight mod system but it does have the cross centric cam system which is really smooth really low vibration very quiet cool All right, we hey. are here in the OTO booth. How you doing? Check out this cool, cool product that they have here. Hey, this is Byron, one of the one of the guys here at On Track Outdoors. We have our no mess dress kit. How many of you guys have been out there hunting? Shoot your elk, your deer, your antelope, get all bloodied up, and later you got to clean out the blood from your fingernails or your clothes. Mom or your wife gets pissed. <laughs> well, we got a kit. Everybody tries to pack most of this stuff, but we got it all consolidated in a nice small bag. Heat sealed, so if you have tag soup like me, it's good the next year. So when you're out there, you put the long sleeve glove on with the banded sleeve, it stays put. Put your nitro glove on over the top to give you back that dexterity, because that's what you really need when you're up in there, elbow deep, shoulder deep in an elk or a deer. When you're done, you simply grab up high, turn it inside out, keep the blood contained, wad it up, and it all goes back in the bag that's Ziploc features are resealable so you can close it all in. Then, to really get to cleaning, we got alcohol wipes in there. We got big paper towels for cleaning your knives, toiletries, first aid. Heck, if you want a napkin for after you eat your sandwich, it's all there. <laughs> then we got electrical tape, also bandage, survival, first aid. Everything in there is first aid, survival, or cleaning your animals, multi-feature. But this is for putting on your tag. Last year I had the fortune of carrying a deer off the mountain and I ended up uh, taping his legs together to keep them all bundled up nice and tight as I put them on my shoulders and walked out. Well, yeah, look at that. Look who we have found. <laughs> Found our friends at Ultimate Predator. If you guys don't know Ultimate Predator, you've got to come and find, check out Ultimate Predator. These decoys mount right to your bow, top and bottom, and mount right up to your bow, and then you can see your sight. You see right through your peep and your sight, and your stabilizer comes right out the middle. And man, these things are super, super cool. You probably saw it on our moose hunt, um, how we used the Ultimate Predator decoys in different directions and different ways. We actually used that one right there. That's what we're after right there for your mom. That one right there.
look who the heck Get we ran here. into. <laughs> How are you, brother? Good, Jeff. How are you? Doing well. Look at this cool booth. That's the pretty girl over here. That's though. the pretty girl right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. If you guys don't know about Ready, you got to come and see Ready. This stuff is awesome. Oh, yes. We have made it to Kings. Oh, we've made it to the Mecca. To the Mecca. All right, guys. Let's do a little show and tell. Tell us about the new stuff we got going. Uh, new static. Some new solid colors for the XKG Elevation Quarter Zip. Nice. Um, so we got charcoal, olive, and this steel blue color. Those are brand new for the spring. Cool. These are a lightweight quarter zip, treated with polygene. They're going to be great for all that shed hunting coming up, fishing. Yeah. They'll be good for when the weather gets warm. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, Tell me about those new preacher pants. Tell me about them. These are my new favorite pant. Um, I personally like to hunt with the knee pads in, so they're my new favorite pant for that, but I wear the solid colors like I'm wearing right now to work or doing anything really. Fishing, shed hunting, they're a great pant. A lot like the Ridge pant with the four-way stretch fabric. But so what's the difference between these and the Ridge? They're a little bit heavier weight pant. Um, the fabric's a little more durable. They come with two cargo pockets uh, and they're removable knee pads. Okay, so they got it right here. It's removable but it is a hard it's not really hard it's flexible and soft yeah and i i've learned to not be able to hunt without them now i love <laughs> these pets they're, they're great cool cool yep. anything else that's good and new sure let's go over here to the other new pant that we have it's called the lone peak pant so a lot like the jacket um we added this pant to complete like the late season cold weather system. These are going to be a fleece lined, mm -hmm. wind proof, water resistant pant. Um, also comes with a knee pad and it comes in three patterns, mountain, desert, and real tree edge. Very cool. <laughs> oh, look who it is! What's going on? What's up? In the booth! Everywhere! <laughs> oh, look at this! Famous now. Beautiful animals, man. Nice. And this is the one we came to see, right? Oh, look at that buck. Very cool. If you guys don't know Sawn Outdoors, you've got to come and find them. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook and everything. Joey is going to go for the Mountain Ops Hangout Challenge. All right, here we go. He's got to hang out right there for as long as he possibly can. And the clock starts now. He's only 12 seconds in. I think he's getting tired. Are you getting tired, Joey? I think Joey's getting tired. I think he's getting tired. Well, he's over a minute. Still looking good. What's the record? What? 249. 249. Right, right that. Oh. 249. You, you gotta go. Oh, you're losing it, buddy. Hook your elbows. Oh yeah. There you go. Hang, buddy. Hang, buddy, hang. Looking good. You're losing it. Oh, he's losing it. I can see it. He's shaking. Thank you. 
This is the hush truck. Check this baby out. Oh, look at that. All decked out in the hush truck. Pretty sweet, huh? What do you think, guys? A pretty sweet. Ask Casey what bucket is. What's up, guys? Whoa, look at that. Look who we just found. What's going on, dude? It's Nimrod, guys. How's yeah. it going? Good? That's awesome. They're wondering if that was the one that Eric picked up off the road. No, that's the one Outlaw shot. Ah, that's Outlaw's buck. Yeah. Okay. It's Outlaw's buck. Very cool. Yeah. You guys watch that video? Yep, we sure did. We appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. How's What's... your guys' videos coming? They're doing good. I guess I'm on one right now. You are on one right now. What's up, Nimrod crew? Yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys are doing a whole uh, episode we did. on... We did an entire series this year of all of our hunts. Really? From archery hunt all the way through, inspired by... Well, we appreciate Hush. that. Hush. Yeah, that's cool you guys are making content. Yeah, it was called Year of the Nimrod. Yeah, uh, Year of the Nimrod? Yep. I like it. I'll have to go check it out. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It included our moose hunt you guys and everything. moose hunt. That's right, you drew a tag, yeah. right? How'd it go? Killed a good one. No way. Yeah. Right on, I'll have to go watch the video. Very cool. Yeah, well thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah. Cool, we are here at Dead On Displays, checking out their European mounts. But they have got some great European mount systems here. Look at this, awesome. From all the way up to moose, elk, deer, they can mount anything for you. They you got table displays now. So you just take, we provide all your hardware, you just attach your wall bracket to your wall, and then take the skull bracket, drop it inside the skull cavity, pull the string tight, and then thread the eye bolt in. You thread it down as deep as you want, but we usually put it between these two lobes on the back of the skull. This, this is what takes the longest of the whole process. And once you get it down to your desired depth, you just hold on to the string. I'll show you right here. And you just drop it over the hook. And there you go. So Quick and easy. That easy. And then if you like the, the angled look, you just add our modular angle bracket to, to the traditional mount. Very cool. So you need to go onto our YouTube page. Yeah. We did a um, video review on the dead on display I'll put a link in the bio you can go back and look at that but man it is so easy Joey and I were able to do that in like five minutes such an easy product less than five minutes earthquake group I mean you can bang it around I mean, you can, kids can hit it with a soccer ball that's awesome. And it's solid. It's not coming off. Very, very cool. And where can you be found? Uh, we have a website, deadondisplay.com, and then we're obviously social media. Our Instagram is Dead on Display USA. 100% American made. That's why the USA is on the back there. Always will be. Very cool. Thank you much. by Mindy Booth. Check this stuff out. You need to look at this stuff. It's so cool. She makes these all by hand, right, Mindy? That's correct. All by hand. <laughs> and in her booth, we have a good friend right here. Check this out. It's Christy Woodhouse. Oh, look at this. She does the coolest paintings on maple leaves. These are real maple leaves. Sycamore. Well, sycamore. These are sycamores, huh? Yeah. So she paints them on these leaves and paints all of these cool drawings. Check these out. Look at that one. They are so cool. If you guys did not check her out on social media, you need to. Because these two ladies do an amazing job with their artistic talents.
Where can people find you? Uh, here on social media. <laughs> on social media. Uh, Instagram, Time Designs by Mindy, and Facebook also, Time Designs by Mindy. Cool. And Christy, what about you? Uh, Instagram, Christy.Woodhouse. Facebook, Christy's Arts. Christy. Or my website, Christy'sArts.com. Cool. Very nice. benefit of the doubt that you got an artery. He went right through the void. Oh, it's coming closer. That one's dead. Hit. Hit. Where'd you hit him? Oh, just barely. Oh, just barely. Right in the bottom of the lungs. Well, that is a wrap for day one of the Hunt Expo. What do you think, boys? Good. Good. What did we find? A lot of stuff. What was the best thing you found? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Jay's? Mm. All the candy you're eating? <laughs> anyway, we talked to some awesome people, met some awesome people, and saw some awesome new products, and some awesome old products. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we're going to go walk across the street and try not to get hit right now. So we'll talk to you later.